Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. These will be the top e bonds from the first four days of the World Championships. I'll do it in two parts, first four and the last three. And then from this, I'd like to make a top 20s e bond video. So let me know in the comments what your favorite e bonds are. And also let me know if I missed any. So let's get into it. I had to start with Mariyama's beautiful e bond. Watch when he goes in, he lifts him up once and then he lifts him again. And that second lift, I think it just overthrew him a little bit. This was a Wazari, but still a beautiful throw nonetheless. Abahifumi now, we've seen him do this kind of like a running sode that he does. Mixes it in well with the Osotogari. So the leg comes across, could be either Osotogari or sode, Surikomigoshi. And he just runs with it. Watch how far he goes across the mat. Yago gets countered here by Mark Velashvili. But if you ever wondered, how to properly execute the bear hug. Yago does it right here. Goes for the tricep and the back at the same time and then readjusts from the tricep to the two hands around the belt. But gets thrown. Gets thrown for his efforts. Probably one of the biggest e pawns I've seen. Actually, not just of the tournament, but in general. Abe Uta just sending her opponent flying with this Koshiguruma. Huge. I think Travis Stevens will be pretty happy with that one. Spent off now with the drop down Seoinage. Left first right. Still quick. At this age, he had a little stint at 66. Back down to under 60 now. I'm not sure how many years we've got left of him, but he's an incredible, incredible judoka. Little faint. Testing the waters a bit. And then White put his elbow up. I think that was the the sign to jump in. This one's a big one. And by the way guys, if you want to support the channel, hit that join button, or even just a like or a subscribe. It goes pretty far. Look at the drive she gets from this one. Two hands on the one side, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two hands on the one lapel. So, getting a lot of power there. Sunoda. And I should probably talk about this one in a little bit of depth. So she's a left-handed fighter, goes in with the left foot, which is unorthodox to begin with. But then she uses the right leg to create momentum. And then because she put that left leg there to begin with, she's kind of waiting until it's in the right position to use it. So using both legs for the Tomoe Nage, I think a lot of people are going to copy this, to be honest. Sadalash Philly. A beautiful pickup. Doesn't really look like an Osotogari, but... I think you got to call it an Osoto going in that direction using the reaping leg which just picks him up on the hip dumps him Lee Uchimata he's got probably the biggest repertoire of techniques on the on the international tour Kosoto here I mean he literally I think he does every technique it's incredible I mean not every technique but out of all the main ones, yeah, I think he does everything. I might have not seen an Ochigari from him, but I've seen just about everything else. Koganao, this is a beautiful Kochi into Ochi. Sorry about the quality. By the way, this is the, the highest quality I can get for this one. But really nice combination. I just had to include it. Kochi to bring it forward and then the opposite direction. I really like that one. Big Ushimata now. Lots of feints. Kosoto, Kochi, Kosoto again. And I talked about this in a previous video, but I'm seeing a lot of Kosoto, Uchimata these days. It's a great combination. Kochi, Kosoto, Osoto. Into the Seoinage. I mean, look at all the feints from Lee. One, two, three. And that's when he grabbed that opposite side lapel he's so good Nagase now totally different style to Lee much more methodical not really relying on speed but relying on his length and leverage that he generates with his legs and his hands I mean have a look at this one I mean that's just incredible not many people are doing that Nagase has a very very special Ashiguruma Muki now. 
and a driving Kosoto. He's so strong. But watch white, he attacks and then Muki goes immediately. So returning fire like this, it's a hard thing to train, but all the top guys do it. Similar situation here, just a counter. Not just standing there, not just defending, but looking for an attack. Big Kataguruma. So strong down there. I mean, look at this. In this position here, most people would just fall over, turtle, but he just kept going. Here's the man himself. Little flick of the gi before entering. Just extending him a little bit to make it that little bit easier. And I think he got his grips mid, mid throw. He's got the back. As soon as he got that sleeve, he was jumping in there. This one, blue, makes a huge mistake and gets counted for it. Watch his right arm. Usually you want to go under the armpit for that osoto, but he just didn't have it there. And so he was very high and just got picked up and dumped. Oh my god. Stump. He stumped him. Stump. I mean, this is... This is incredible stuff. Do I even need to explain how incredible this is? Just elevated him, kicked the legs out underneath. Perfectly timed. Okuri Ashibarai here. Going to the side. Look at that. And I bet you were thinking, where's all the Nawaz are at? Well, here we go. There's a couple in this video, but if there's anything I missed, I generally only include the Nawaz if it's something kind of unique. And I like what Lombardo does here to kind of squish his opponent down, stop him from standing up, and then just the speed he rolled him over. Exceptional. This here is a really nice Kataguruma. A running Kataguruma. And I think it's the re it's on the reverse side. Usually you would put your head underneath your opponent's left arms, but he goes under the right. Malaya does this, but much lower to the ground. I quite like it running like that. Stump again. Looking for a Koji. And come on. He walked him onto that so well. I was thinking it might be an Uchimata, and maybe Blue was thinking that too. But the way he made his legs just come across, and then just set it up perfectly. Come on. Stump, world champion, he's a great, great judoka. That was no accident. He didn't get lucky. Destroyed all the top guys. Stump's the man. Deguchi Krista, also world champion now, again. Serio Toshi here. Two hands on the one side. Good counter here to the Kochigari. See the leg come in. And then blue. Watch him carefully and his left leg. It's almost like he's waiting for it. And then that left leg just goes on the outside of the shin. I think he was waiting for it. I mean with those grips, the grips White had, there's not many attacks you can attempt. And Kochi's probably the the most common one. This one here, I mean Yonezuka, he was he was controlling it. He was he was deciding this is now as and now or well, this isn't. And so he decided to stand up again and go for that nice Ochigari. Takato now. With the Ashiguruma and have a look at his left arm. I don't recommend trying to copy this unless you're gonna make that sort of grip your go to. Takato he's always grabbing the tricep kind of shoulder in that way so he's used to it he knows how to generate power there although in this situation it got him counted the way he holds that shoulder he likes to kind of put his elbow up a little bit and then Garigos that just made it easy for him to go in and on Twitter the Japanese Twitter people have been complaining about this they they don't like it as a throw they think it should be Han Sokumake and they really don't think it should be even considered a throw because it's not in the, the values of judo. It doesn't protect your opponent. It doesn't allow them the opportunity to correctly 
Du Ukemi. I don't know about that. I think Takato hid dived and tried to get out of it, but it is what it is. White, unfortunately, gets Hans Hokumake here. Just the, the edge of his hair touching the mat briefly. Just cannot do that in judo. A little bit of hair there. Unfortunately, that is Hans Hokumake. I like seeing these things though, it's exciting. I'm sorry I may be promoting injury, but it is exciting to see. Lombardo here, I mean, you can see him kind of think through this process. He's looking at his opponent's grips. He's wondering what he's got. He doesn't like that sleeve, so he takes it off. Uranagi's the best option, goes for it. Never seen him do Uranagi before. Executes it well. Lombardo's a thinker, for sure. Another one from Mariyama. Lightning fast. It's pretty crazy. I mean, he was setting it up with steps. He was forcing him to walk onto it. Watch these little steps he takes to make him walk backwards. And the entry, I mean, that was... I don't think I've seen a Tomoenage faster than that. Different kind of stemmy was at this time. Sumigaishi from Mariyama. And it's all in the feet. What he does to set up these sacrifice throws with his feet, the fade backs. I mean, he is deceiving his opponents. Next level deception. Can't deceive this guy though. Abe here for me, he, he knows what to do with Moriyama. Don't let it get to the point of deception. Just grip and go. Pray, hope, squash the Uchimata. This one here, Uchimata by Nagase. Only scored it was Adi, but I just really liked what he did with his right hand. Watch him push down on the head. Pushed his head pretty much into the mat. Nice, Uchimata. And then this one, to get the Awasete Ippon. Looks for an Ashiguruma, doesn't get it, and then Haraigoshi. But the first throw just creates so much of a reaction and forward pressure. And he threw Sasaki with something really similar back in the Tokyo Grand Slam. Abe again. And the running Sode, as I was talking about, going off the opposite side. But he never lets go of those two sleeves, never gives up. I, I really want to know, Abe, if that's intentional, throwing people off the opposite side like that. I'm sure he's thought of it. Kataguruma by Bouchard. Using the leg on the outside, the elbow between the thigh. She's a Kataguruma master. Yonan Perenlai with the Newaza. Nice transition. Locks him up well. And of course Yondon wants to do Newaza so close like that. Wrap him up real tight. Big Ippon Serenage. Love a good Serenage. Can't get enough of it. Also everyone, we've only got a few more Ippons left. Just to let you know, I'd like you to mention which ones are your favorite in the comments. So I'm going to make a, a top 20 Ippons from the whole tournament. There'll be a part two of this. We'll look at under 90s, under 100s, and plus 100s. The big guys. So yeah guys, that's it from me. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in another one. Peace.